hello all here is a um, simple connectivity diagram between Arduino you know node MCU 16 cross 2 LCD and um, MQ4 sensor so what is the actual intention of this is we are going to read uh, the sensor value from Arduino and then we are going to print the same on uh, the LCD display and at the same time we are going to extend uh, the Arduino um, to a wireless capability by interfacing node MCU and then we are going to transmit the data from node MCU to a things board. that's the entire intention of this so what are we going to achieve by this basically we are going to um, see the data uh, over the things board whatever the sensor data and we can have our own widgets and see what uh, is the current sensor value that means this helps us um, like monitoring over the remote a simple um, IOT application right now reading the data from MQ4 sensor we are using the analog pin of Arduino for connecting the LCD to um, the Arduino board we are going to use I2C so we have a, a board in between which basically um, helps uh, uh, convert I2C data to a um, parallel data that basically is a GPU expander board and then we are going to connect uh, uh, node MCU and Arduino using the UART interface simple UART interface and then using the MQTT protocol we are going to transfer the data over Wi-Fi that's the uh, complete um, connectivity interface connectivity perspective now let us try to look at the code and then the connectivity and then the things board so we will talk about uh, the interfacing pins between uh, the different in, uh, devices that we are used here this is mostly from the hardware perspective to understand which pin to connect where uh, so we did not talk about the power supply here because power supply is straightforward um, 5 volts is used all across and uh, <clears throat> if you see here uh, we are interfacing MQ4 sensor with Arduino you know using the analog uh, interface so MQ4 has an analog output so there will be two outputs from uh, the MQ4 sensor um, even MQ2 sensor board also has two outputs uh, so basically here we are talking about the board and not uh, the full range sensor okay so um, the analog output is connected to a zero pin of the arduino you know which is basically a um, <coughs> uh, the um, analog input of uh, arduino you know and then um, we uh, also have um, gpa expander board which is uh, um, interface to a 16 cross 2 lcd so the i2c lines sdl and uh, sca lines of that particular gpu expander are connected to um, the sda sdl pins of the arduino you know board that's how the connection is made and then um, we, have, we have a node mcu board here basically um, so node mcu board um, has a two uart interfaces so we are going to use the second UART and we are only using right now um, the TX pin of Arduino board uh, and uh, we are interfacing it to RX pin of the node MC board which is a D2 pin so um, <coughs> you can see these indication directly if you have a node MCU on hand so it's a straightforward connection and then apart from this uh, the ground must be common uh, so if you see this the ground must be common across all these and uh, 5 volts will be distributed uh, from the Arduino you know to each of these boards and node MCU is powered separately so ensure that the ground is common across all and uh, this connectivity is uh, followed thank you so we are using the Arduino IDE um, to write a code for node MCU so we have ESP12V module basically connected and then 
can see here, uh, the, the other code basically, um, if you use the Arduino example, it will be available or in the previous uh, um, examples we have already covered. What additionally is added here is, basically what we are uh, doing is we are, we are reading the data over the serial port byte by byte as and when it is available and then what we are doing is if it's not zero we are going to collect the data okay now <clears throat> the thing is uh, uh, one important point to remember here is when we are sending the data from arduino we are actually including uh, hash and then we are sending the sensor value and then again hash at the end to indicate the um, start and stop so now considering that scenario uh, you can also indicate uh, start and stop with the different uh, um, values as per your requirement what we are doing is whatever the data that is received we are collecting in an array and we are actually so when we collect this into an array this is basically uh, a character that is being sent so now let us assume we want to send a value of 100 so 100 zero, zero will be individually sent so as characters right now we have to convert that into a integer value so using the inbuilt function um, we are converting the array to integer and then we are including it in a sensor data and then pushing that um, sensor data using the MQTT protocol okay so we are uh, uh, we are um, framing the payload and then that payload we are actually publishing to the um, things board client so that's what we are doing here so we'll be posting this uh, in our uh, posting this code in our github page so uh, this is available for uh, uh, members uh, um, of our youtube channel if you have a membership you can get this code so now this is uh, um, the entire code now let us try to look at uh, how the connectivity is and see whether data is being displayed or not. If we see here, this is the Arduino Uno board and then this is the node MCU uh, and we have the MQ2 or MQ4 sensor, whatever you want you can use and then this is actually um, a I2C uh, GPU expander which is actually interfacing the 16 cross 2 LCD. Now you can see here right now the value is 88. Okay, so um, this the value is read by this particular sensor from the uh, surroundings and then transmitted to um, the Arduino, you know, over the analog interface and then Arduino, you know, is sending data over I2C to the display and also you can see here the connectivity between Arduino, you know, and uh, um, the node mcu which is actually a single uart interface um, and uh, the value is being displayed and also if you see the same value is being displayed on the screen in um, the things board as well so as the uh, as the value changes here things board you can see uh, the value being uh, displayed so this is how um, the the connectivity is uh, you between uh, Arduino you know, and Node MCU. We are actually extending the wireless functionality of Arduino you know, by interfacing a Node MCU here.